Let's continue looking at the different conformations of butane. In the last video, we drew this particular shape or conformation of butane, an eclipsed conformation in which the two methyl groups, carbon number one and carbon number four, were eclipsing each other. Um, in this particular conformation, the methyl to methyl dihedral angle we said was zero degrees and that this was a very high energy conformation for butane because of the steric hindrance associated with having those two methyl groups so close together. Let's take a look at a graph. This is going to be a graph of energy versus dihedral angle. So these down here are all dihedral angle referring to the methyl to methyl dihedral angle specifically and so in that last confirmation when the methyl groups were eclipsing each other zero degree dihedral angle that corresponds to this point on the graph very high energy point so what i'm going to do is draw that newman projection up here in this space near this particular point and we are, are basically going to make a graph of, of all the different conformations with all the different dihedral angles. So very high energy when the two methyl groups are eclipsing each other. We'll make, also make a note that we're calling this the eclipsed conformation. Some books call this the totally eclipsed conformation because we're going to see that there are some variations of the eclipsed conformation for, for butane. So if you still have your models, hopefully you still have your model from the last video. If not, pause, rebuild your model, and you're holding, hold your model so that you're citing down the carbon 2, carbon 3 bond, and you have your model in this eclipsed conformation where the methyl groups are eclipsing each other. What I want you to do with your model is leave the back carbon and its substituents, leave, leave that still. So I want you to make sure to keep the back carbon and its substituents in that position. And I want you to take the front carbon with its substituents and I want you to rotate that front carbon by 60 degrees clockwise. So keeping the back carbon the same, rotate the front carbon 60 degrees clockwise, not 120, 60 degrees. Now, if you've done that correctly, and we're going to be down here with the 60 degree, we're going to be at a 60 degree dihedral angle. If you've rotated correctly, the Newman projection that you should be looking at, I've already messed it up, the back carbon will have the methyl group on top with two hydrogens sticking down. The front carbon should have the methyl group in this position right here as I've just drawn it. And this is going to correspond to a 60 degree dihedral angle, this point on the graph right here. So we've seen this conformation before in the videos with ethane and with propane. And the name that we gave for that conformation was a staggered conformation when we had a 60 degree dihedral angle. But we're not going to write that name down yet. Um, so let's just continue with this rotation. So again, you're going to hold your back carbon still and you're not going to move any of the substituents on the back carbon. And what I want you to do is take the front carbon and rotate it again, same, 60 degrees clockwise. So when we do this, we're going to end up with another eclipsed structure. So first I'm going to draw the back carbon. Again, we're not making any changes to the back carbon. Now the front carbon, rotating it 60 degrees again clockwise will give us a confirmation that looks like this. Now here we have a, another eclipsed confirmation because our substituents are eclipsing each other on the front from the front carbon to the back carbon. But notice on this graph that I've drawn that the energy of the first confirmation that I drew 
is higher in energy than the confirmation that we just drew or that you just made. The reason you should be able to kind of get an idea about this, the reason is that in the first confirmation, with those two methyl groups were eclipsing each other, which was really crowded. In the confirmation that we just drew, we have methyls being eclipsed by hydrogens, but we don't have another another methyl methyl interaction. So even though this is a high energy confirmation, it's not as high of energy. So this is another eclipsed confirmation and in this eclipsed confirmation the methyl to methyl dihedral angle is 120 degrees so high energy and unstable but not as high of energy as this confirmation and not as unstable so we will say that this one has the highest energy and that this one has the second highest energy. And let's continue, let's just keep going. So again, same kind of a thing. We're gonna hold the back carbon still. We're gonna rotate the front carbon. And again, we're gonna rotate it another 60 degrees clockwise. And that's gonna bring us down to this part right here. So now the back carbon has not been moved again. So the back carbon still looks like this. The front carbon, when we move the front carbon and its substituent 60 degrees clockwise, if you've done it correctly with your model, you will have a methyl group sticking straight down, two hydrogens sticking up. So we're back again to another staggered conformation. Um, and in this particular one, when we're looking at the dihedral angle, the methyl to methyl dihedral angle, is 180 degrees. This is, and again, if we're looking at the graph, the relative energy, this particular conformation is really low in energy, again, because of sterics, because in this conformation, those methyl groups are as far apart from each other as possible. This is a low energy conformation because the methyl groups are able to spread out from each other and from other atoms. But in this confirmation, they are able to get as far apart as possible. So this is the lowest energy confirmation. And this particular confirmation is a staggered confirmation, but it gets a special name. This confirmation we call anti because the two methyl groups are opposite one another or anti to anti to one another. Let's go back to this confirmation right here. This confirmation is the second lowest energy. And this staggered confirmation also has a special name. Instead of calling it staggered, we call it gauche, G-A-U-C-H-E. Gauche means awkward, and I don't understand the, the um, reason that we're calling this gauche, because there's nothing about this that looks awkward to me, but that's, it is what it is. So let's keep going with our rotation. Again, same thing, we're going to take just the front carbon and its substituents, and we're gonna rotate them another 60 degrees clockwise. Back carbon is going to stay the same, Methyl group sticking straight up, hydrogens sticking down. When we rotate it again, we're going back to another eclipsed conformation. And in this particular eclipsed conformation, again, we have methyl and hydrogen eclipse, methyl and hydrogen eclipse, and then a hydrogen hydrogen eclipse. So these two, this confirmation and this confirmation are identical to each other in terms of steric hindrance and in terms of their energy and their instability. They're exactly the same because they are experiencing the same type of sterics. And let's do this one more time. Let's take that front carbon and rotate it 60 degrees one more time. So again, our back carbon will stay the same with a methyl sticking up and two hydrogens down. We're going back again to a staggered conformation. This time on the front carbon, our methyl group is up and to the left. Our dihedral angle for this guy is back to another 60 degrees. Or if we're looking at 
um, this particular, using this particular graph being consistent, our dihedral angle is this angle right here, which is 300 degrees. That's our 300 degree point. The confirmation at 60 degree dihedral versus this guy, they are again identical in energy. They have two methyl groups that are side by side but staggered. And then the remaining substituents are all hydrogens. So even though these are representing two different shapes of the molecule, they are identical in terms of their energy and their overall stability. So these two shapes, both of them have the same level of energy, and they are both called the gauche conformation. So second lowest energy called gauche. And if we rotate one more time, 60 degrees, we're going to end up back at this eclipsed highest energy conformation for the butane molecule.